Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my name is Marwan Rabid. I am from uh, Tripoli, Libya. Today, um, I'm going to tell the world about, a little bit by myself, my country, and the 17 February Revolution. Um, in fact, as an eyewitness, I uh, saw it like a dream, and sometimes saw it like a nightmare. I think it's sometimes uh, something that comes for one time in life. Even with all the negative things that happened, I absolutely convinced that uh, we all Libyan had learned something from uh, a lot from this conflict. Also, we as Libyans will not forget this moment forever, despite all the variances occurred by the dictator regime to rule Libya as much as possible, you know. Um, but we have one thing that keep us together, keep us related with each other. Do you know what it is? It's hope, the hope of being a leading nation also to guarantee a better future for our children. After the, all the dark stages f uh, in the Libyan history from the rule of, uh, uh, of the, colonel, uh, of the t Turkish colonel and the it Italian colonel to the rule of Muammar Gaddafi, you can imagine how the Libyan people was suffering from, from these times. But we as a Libyan young generation, we are trying our best to make sure a peaceful and brighter future for, uh, for the next generation. Um, also, I believe that diversity is what keeps us in harmony. Besides, we, as a human, we will have to focus on our similarities instead of our differences. Uh, then we will implement a theory of being one people, one nation, one world. Um, I'm really inspired by the young people in my country, especially the ten that have been shined by the Freedom Sun. I wanted to, uh, to put them in focus and tell the world a little bit about them. Um, because I believe it, if we share our experiences, that then we will have uh, better prospects about ourselves. I want to tell you an amazing story about Malik. Malik is... Uh, uh, he's, he, uh, some, some day he's, uh, one day he's, uh, he sat in the darkened corner of, uh, of, Beng uh, of uh, in a in, uh, in hotel in Benghazi. It's called the Ozu Hotel. Um, he, the, the, the screen of, uh, his, of his iPad illuminating his face. And, and, uh, and, and he had a bin and, um, and uh, he had a bin at the ready to, uh, to publishing. Uh, to, uh, to start writing. Malik is also, this is something that I, I, I want to tell you that uh, his, did, did, his deadline is also his bedtime because Malik is 14 years old. Malik, he's now star, uh, he's now, uh, he uh, was starting the, uh, the BNA, Breaking News Agency. For, uh, for, uh, for, a, for uh, as a platform for the article he wrote. He even worked with, uh, with um, he, would, he is a leader of 10 volunteer reporters, work and, uh, under, uh, under uh, his uh, supervision to, uh, to uh, publish, publish articles and uh, photographs um, on uh, his uh, BNA uh, Facebook page. Also, he turned uh, to, to uh, television as well by posting videos uh, in uh, his YouTube channel. My goal is to be like Reuters. But um, now we, ha we only have the Facebook page. At first, when they saw, they saw that, was why, uh, that I was a little kid, the, the um, Libyan journalist monked me and, and didn't take it me seriously. But when they talked to me and uh, uh, read my articles, they treat me like an equal, he said. The foreign journalist encouraged him and uh, advised him to ask the right question at the right time. <laughs> With his uh, high school closed, Malik left home at 8 p.m. for publishing his, uh, for, uh, for doing his, uh, his work and uh, returned to home at 8 p.m. He, he, he even persuaded his parents to let him accompany the rebels to the, to the front at Brega. But is, this is far as, as from home as he's allowed to go. Now, he's, uh, 
he he said that um, he said that uh, that that uh, I want to be a war reporter. Where is there, where there is a conflict, I will be there. This is one of his ambitions. ambitions. So, uh, as you see, I was truly inspired by the ten young people, especially Malik. I want to put them in focus and. Uh, and let the world a little bit about the talented young people back there in Libya. Because I believe that these talented young people are as raw as, like materials. It's like an, an, an item that took place in the hand of the artist. The artist is trying to, to make it a, a good thing to impress the world. So I come up with an idea of creating a home for these little children especially from 5 to 15. I, um, but I was missing the, the inner motivation. So with the, some, uh, some hours watching a self-motivation video on YouTube, of course, uh, I was come up with an idea of creating a home for these children. After, after a few weeks, they had the, the idea developed to be a project under the name of Generations Foundation. Today we build for a better future. Generation Foundation is, is a youth f foundation, primarily concerned in the talented young people between 5 and uh, 15. The, the primary goal is to inspire and motivate young people to, to, uh, to, um, to to shape their talent or, or to, to motivate them to involve in activities that will help them to achieve and reach their goals. <laughs> also, the, the main objective is to inspiring people, but having a model, a role model for them, it's like to motivate them and inspire them, also to have them in excursions and workshops that will develop their talents. Also, I'm, I'm trying to, um, to, uh, to um, to implement a short time uh, leadership programs to to uh, with the primary uh, uh, primary um, with a primary and and the basic elements of step by step um, step by step transformation with a good leadership uh, mentorship techniques also uh, i think that uh, the interactive learning is bringing a good role for for them Finally, I want to tell everybody that we all have talents. I believe that we all have talents. Maybe we admire certain people who seem uh, especially, especially smart, kind, or fun. Sometimes we, we think that we don't have talents, but uh, we, we all have talents. Maybe you, are fun, maybe you are gentle, maybe you are fun, maybe you, your uh, present seems a small, un, unimportant thing. But will you use your talent can make a big difference in life of people around you. Notice the things you enjoy. The things you enjoy makes you tell you the most important clues about what, uh, as to what your our uh, you to, uh, what to, uh, to our uh, to our uh, to, uh, to, to what our talents are. Do you look, do you love to read, cook, laugh, smile, be with people? Uh, Play sport. The thing we enjoy give us the most important clues to 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 what our uh, talents are. Be careful. Attention to the thing you enjoy. It will give you. It, it will give you um, a better a better idea of what our of our talent. In a short few words, free your minds. Thank you.